Hello and welcome to Kitchen Counter Crafts. If you like this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Would you please hit that bell icon so that you can be notified of other videos, especially during this time of giveaway. Welcome back. I would like to just introduce before we get started, um, just want to announce that I am doing my very first giveaway. I will only be shipping in the United States and the giveaway is going to include a new fountain pen and it comes with two ink vials and also a custom leather pen sleeve or holder. And to enter, all you have to do, it's free. You have to just be subscribed, so please subscribe. Turn on your notification so you can be notified immediately of when the drawing is and other videos. And then down below, if you will comment on your favorite ink or your favorite pen, or just even what you think of this ink, um, any comments will be great as they're pen and ink related. And the winner is going to be picked on February 14th on Valentine's Day. And again, I don't have any sponsors or any, anything like that. These, This is just my own purchase. It's also a way for me to thank you for helping and encouraging me on all these uh, videos and also for your kind and sweet comments. So just really appreciate that. And I also appreciate you just letting me bumble through some of these things because, you know, when you're just starting out, it's kind of, um, it's, it's difficult to figure out what you're going to include in a, in a um, review and in pen reviews, ink reviews, those kinds of things. But um, by the help of the last video, if you noticed my pen pal, literally a pen pal, um, sent me all these amazing inks that I wanted to review. So two of the ones that she sent me are the Hisoku and it's a Kyo no Odo ink. Um, so never owned one of these. And this is in one of my favorite colors, which is like a teal. And then I, she also sent me this one and it's Shin Ryoku. And I believe it's like a greenish. So I'm going to try and kind of put some of these colors together. You can see it a little bit in the sunlight. I'm hoping that the video will catch this beauty. And then one of my favorites, and this is my own ink, and this is the Sierra Ro from Iroshizuku Pilot ink. So I'm going to try out all these three Japanese inks, hopefully in the same teal green-ish category, and we'll just kind of see how that goes. And so um, the ink that I want to review, oh, I don't know which one I want to review, hmm, probably the Hisoku. Let's do that one. And um, just because it's one of those small custom batch limited edition inks, it's still available at the time of the filming of this video. And it rates on par as the other Japanese inks. So we have two pilots and then one this one. So we'll rate this according to the pilots. And um, so let's see. What a pretty little bottle though, I have to say. And <clears throat> Just a little bit about this company. I didn't know much about it, but it is um, by Kyo no Odo. So I'm going to write that down. But it's uh, otherwise also called a Kyoto ink. And um, Kyoto is a lot of times called the cultural capital of Japan. So there are um, just some art, like artistic types of things that are uh, going on there. So this green is called the Hisoku. So I'm gonna jot all of these things down here. So let's see if I can be in frame here. So this is Kyo no Odo. Um, and this ink is called Hisoku. I hope that's correct. Can't see it, there we go. Hisoku, yes. Hisoku ink. And today's the third, 23. And uh, the pen I'm using is a glass dip. And the nib is like a medium. Okay. And the paper is a 60 
Five Tamai River, and the bleed on this should be none. Yes, it's it's hard to get bleed on this paper. It's just a really great paper for that. Shading I'm gonna do just in a minute, and um, dry time. Let's see, zero, five, and 10. So zero, five, It's a fairly dry ink, and look at how light this ink is. I don't know if you can tell. So let's see. Um, I'm going to put some of this ink down here. So down here I have a dip pen. We're just going to swirl it around. I have to say, it's like a really nice, smooth ink, though. So it shows up. Pretty nicely, almost like a teal-ish color here. And then I also wanna make sure I get the water test, which is here. All right, so um, a writing sample. Let's see if this single dip will allow that. So you can see how beautiful that ink is. It's really well behaved too. All right, so now I'm gonna just put some of this ink down here. And yes, it's already dry where I had it. There's the first pass through Doing that again. So some of the complaints that I've read online is that it's just not dark enough. And I'm sure that, you know, varies by the type of paper that you're using. But um, as far as this ink is concerned, I'm just gonna, and while this is drying, I'm gonna make a little bit of my art over here. Um, as far as this ink is concerned, what the small batch, um, company, I guess, if you will, the business, whoever makes this in Japan, uh, one of the things that they really uh, try to focus and say is that uh, these inks represent some of their artistic community. And so this ink is supposed to be Hisoku in Japanese. I'm learning quite a bit of things here. Um, Hisoku means, um, it means secret color. So what they really wanted this to be is something secretive, like um, not really positive what color. And because it's a small batch, you're also going to get variations in the color that you purchased. So I know that can be very frustrating for those who kind of want that darker color uh, versus maybe something super light. So if you look online, um, because you know, I try to do some research before I do some ink reviews. But if you look online, you're going to see that um, there the colors on this vary from like a lightish gray teal to um, this darker that I have here, which I'm kind of glad it that I have the darker color because I'm going to tell you, um, the lighter it is, the harder um, I find for the usage. So now um, for art, that's not an issue at all. Um, so I knew that from 
my my pen pal knows that I do love the art and so I um just wanted to kind of cover part of that as I did my my review as well so anyway um don't know if that helps you at all but the color for this ink so I'm going to just write down it's uh called secret color and the color for the ink is actually um because of the stylized the the pottery that they have um and it's that celadon green so i'm going to just make a little or a big vase i guess in comparison to my city here so again it's supposed to be a representation of the green japanese pottery i don't know if you've seen it it's beautiful and so i'm going to just like draw a little little because a lot of times they have the japanese blossoms and stuff although that's blobbing on there so that's all right um but the nice thing about this is as I'm drawing, you can kind of see the uh, the colors kind of come through and dry and then um, either be darker or a little lighter, just depending on whatever. So whenever you're looking at like pictures of Kyoto, there's one and I think it has like four things up there. But anyway, so there's that and if you can see the variation there's quite a bit of shading there and one of the things i wanted to do was fill this guy up so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and then give you sorry i didn't have that filled up already but i'm gonna fill this up and then that way it's gonna give you a little bit more of an idea <clears throat> um using a much larger nib I also wanted to see if there was any kind of a chromatography going on um, on just a, and I'm gonna, I don't see any yet, but just like that, gosh, that color is so amazingly beautiful. Um, so, whoa, what just happened? Oh, I guess I drew just a tiny bit in there. I'm like, wait, there's hardly any ink. Did it even draw any? No, sure didn't. Just dipped it in there and was jabbering away. Oh, golly. And I just poured some on the side. Man, I'm a hot mess. Let's see if I can draw a little bit into the cartridge. How's that? Yes, let's stop talking for just a second. All right. This, um, those little mixer ball things and pilots, just that can, that converter just always throws me off see and it's empty again because i didn't get a a fill full a full fill full fill i don't feel fulfilled i guess that's what it is all right so on this this is a stub nib or a calligraphy nib so i'm going to just put pilot cm prayera so that i remember what in the world did I use? So actually it looks even lighter than the dip pen, which kind of is surprising to me. All right, let's see the shading. I love this pen, I have to tell you. Calligraphy nib. There's the shading. And so you can actually see quite a bit of shading on this ink. And again, not positive if you can see it here on um, the video, but let's go ahead and compare. So we're gonna do the Shin Ryoku. Check that out, oh, so pretty. On sunny days, honestly, I love just looking at my inks. I think they're just that beautiful. All right, let's. Put some down here. Whoa. So yummy. 
so beautiful. Okay, this is Shin Aku Pilot. All right, so there's that one. I'm going to just pass through it again. So gorgeous, gorgeous green. Wipe with something else so I can still see a little chromatography. And then here's the CO row. Set these down before I spill them. touch the napkin up here you can still see some of my other so you can actually see that that is very close to this okay that's that's good to know and this is But this is way, way, way darker than the other. Okay, so um, this is the original where I wiped with that. And I'm going to just do this here with this one and show you that. I know this is not scientific at all, but that's a pretty close match to the hisoku now i do have to tell you it's gonna dry the hisoku is gonna dry way lighter than this super saturated pigmented um, eroshizuku ink but again you get a fairly decent comparison i think so if you want to just take a look at this and see um if any of these inks kind of catch your fancy but i have to tell you they are so beautiful and Japanese inks are just all that. I don't think you can lose with any of them. Uh, the Shin Ryoko is way more emerald though and even has a lovely sheen. So does the Ciro Ro. Oh my goodness. So pretty. The Hisoku does not um, and is drying much, much lighter. So I can see where somebody may not want to um, utilize that for just a regular writing um, sample and I think that's about all I have for you for this time if you will leave me a comment also um, just stay tuned because I will be doing some more i um, trying to keep with the Japanese ink theme so some more reviews coming up for you next time and until then bye